Priced out, Sedona is one of the top vacation spots in the country, but people who work there say they can't afford to live there. In Sedona, the average yearly salary is just under $40,000 a year. That's just about $19 an hour and $3,300 a month. Most places in Sedona require about three times that in monthly rent, so a place to stay can be hard to come by. Scripps National Correspondent Addy Guajardo reports from Sedona on how one solution to help isn't very popular in the community. Arizona residents that live in America's number one hidden gem clash over a program that allows people to sleep in their cars overnight. The Sedona City Council approved the measure to help address their housing crisis, but it's now on pause after community backlash. Two hours north of Phoenix lies a majestic city surrounded by massive red rock formations. I love Sedona. The unique views attracts more than 3 million tourists annually. A booming business and retirement community with a housing crisis pricing employees out of homes. So how many months were you living out of your truck? Six months. Andrea Van Dorn works in Sedona. She says in 2021, money was tight. Having issues finding affordable housing here. With an appetite for adventure, she embraced car camping, sleeping in a nearby national forest, and showering at a local gym. That was really challenging, having to figure out where I was sleeping every night um, and having to go to work and hold down a full-time job. Her experience is not unique. We even have a teacher that is sleeping in our forest. Scott Jablo, the mayor of Sedona, supported a two-year safe place to park program. The initiative funded by a state grant would create a monitored legal parking area with bathrooms and showers for up to 40 participants at a former music venue nearly five miles from downtown. All in favor say aye. 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 In a six to one vote, the city council approved the program. There are so many red flags on this. Less than 48 hours after the vote, the plan came to a halt. This is a last ditch effort. It's just a stopgap. How much research went into this program? Several months worth. They did research from other states across the country that have done similar projects. Colorado has projects similar to this. He says the program addresses the housing crisis in the landlocked city. One of the challenges is we don't have enough rentals. According to the city housing manager, the average cost of a home in Sedona is $990,000. Rent averages $2,200. We don't underpay people, and I know plenty of other workplaces in the area also pay high wages, and it's just not enough with the extremely high rents. Short-term rentals favored by tourists make up 17% of housing. My neighborhood is now 40% short-term rentals. I mean, this is minimal for the people that are supporting us. According to the mayor, only Sedona employees and students will qualify for the program. No one believes that. Dr. William Noonan says it's a slippery slope and opens up the city to discrimination accusations. He swiftly filed a referendum, pausing the program from moving forward. If he collects 600 signatures in 30 days, it will leave the decision up to voters in the November election. I'm confident we can get to at least 1,000. They do not want the cultural park turned into a homeless car park. Van Dorn now lives in a camper outside of Sedona and recently submitted her resignation at work. She says the park plan could sway her to return for work. The showers and bathrooms, a huge plus. Addie Guajardo, Scripps News, Sedona, Arizona.